This is a Saturday of May 6th, Open Space Topics for CLS 2017. I come from the Joomla Project, the largest community-managed project. We have yet to hire a staff person. And so the, the topic I'm interested in sharing and having an open discussion on are have, coming up with creative ways for retaining and recognizing the wild cats that are in our community, plus those other volunteers who happen to make things work. So just building on this morning's opening session, uh, trying to, to build on very creative ways to really bring recognition and value to the people who spend their time and, and bring their heart to our projects. Hi, I'm Greg. Apparently this is a perennial topic, but I'm first up with it. Um, my, my session is burnout, how to not, and if you can't not, how to push through. Uh, it's something I'm open with right now as an organizer of a Coder Dojo chapter in Seattle, and I'd just like to talk to other people about how they're handling burnout. Hello, I'm Sarah Sharp. I'm a consultant at my own company called Otter Tech, and uh, my pithy title is, So You Have the Code of Conduct, Now What? Uh, so let's talk about practical code of conduct enforcement, incident response, coming up with a plan, and doing cultural change so you're not the only one enforcing your code of conduct. Hi, I'm uh, Christopher Neugebauer. I'm a longtime organizer of PyCon Australia and recent organizer of uh, linux.conf.au. Uh, put your hand up if you've been to a conference and received a t-shirt that didn't fit. <laughs> As people who might be somewhat invested in buying t-shirts to give away to people, we can definitely do better than giving, thing, giving items of clothing to people that don't fit. So I'm running a, se a session on uh, designing and buying inclusive, uh, inclusive wearable swag. <laughs> okay, you guys can come out here. Also, um, this is no reflection on Chris. Let's be fairly quick to summarize the session, otherwise we're going to hear all Hi everyone, Jonas Rosland, Open Source Community Manager at Code by LEMC. I recently uh, wrote, created, and published an alternate reality game uh, that I published to my community just to have some fun with the community. Uh, so I have a session titled Playing Games with Your Community, essentially talking about how you can include your community in different things that might be just fun for everyone involved in the community. Hi, Kate Stewart with the Linux Foundation, and the session I'd like to do is um, why is open source license compliance still a problem? Um, it's been around for a long time as a problem, um, and I think we can um, do better. Um, basically, want to brainstorm people who are interested in trying to get automation into play, measurements, metrics, things like that. Hi, I'm Denise Cooper, open source dinosaur. Um, you're going to think this is actually the same talk as Amanda's, but it's not. Uh, this is called Exclusion versus Inclusion. How do we deal with scandal in FOSS? And I think code of conducts are not actually getting us there, because just in the last month there have been three pretty big scandals that codes of conduct didn't touch. So I want to talk about that problem, because I don't think that's over. Basically, I think we have Gamergate now in open source. Hi everyone, Jason Hand. Uh, I'm an evangelist at VictorOps and organize a couple different DevOps related uh, conferences. Uh, I'd like to talk about career paths for evangelism and just community management in general. Where do we see ourselves going? Do we get to sort of have some kind of say in that? Hey, uh, I'm Jeremy. I'm an empath teacher and a private event venue manager. Um, I deal with human development, uh, connection, things like that. And my topic that I came up with uh, was, hey, my eyes are up here. It's about fostering authentic connection in community. <laughs> Hi, I'm Janet Swisher. I'm with Mozilla. My pithy title is, how do you open Scrum? The less pithy description is, I don't just mean Scrum, but Agile, Kanban, any one of those kinds of methodologies where you have full-time staff members working on a short time, time scale with specific deliverables, and you have less than full-time people, how do you enable them to be involved? I also don't just mean software development, I'm in a marketing organization that uses Agile methodology. I wanna talk about how, the, how can, we, can we be open and Agile? Hi, I'm Abby, also at Mozilla, but I did not know Janet. 
hello, we'll talk later, I guess. My pithy title <laughs> is running engaging online events. A lot of us have distributed communities. How can we engage them? We can't fly them all, all the time, so how can we engage them over video? Hi, I'm Matthew Miller. I am the Fedora project leader, and I'm paid by Red Hat to do that. Um, my question, or my, my discussion thing is kind of about, um, is your company a part of the community, or are people from your company part of the community? Uh, I often hear at this conference and other places a lot of like, here's the company, and then the community is an outside thing. In my project, most of the work that's being done comes from outside of the company. Um, but, and a lot of the work done by people who work for the company comes from people for whom that is not their day job. How do we make the community feel um, like one thing despite who's paying whom? Um, and so if that's interesting to you, come and talk about it. Uh, I just thought about this while I was sitting here, so I don't have anything prepared. But um, if your project is in that situation, or if it's not, you'd like it to be, or if it's not, you like it the way it is, um, talk about it. Hi, I'm Cecilia Donnelly from Open Tech Strategies. Um, I'm working with some government open source projects, and I wanted to talk about FOSS for governments, if anyone else is doing a similar project. Hey, I'm Matt. I had talked this morning, and just want to continue the conversation on connecting community metrics to money. Uh, the pithy title is Make Your Money, Don't Let the Money Make You. Hey, it's me again, Sherry from Magento. Um, my topic is burnout is a real thing, how can we avoid it? So I think it's kind of self-explanatory. Hi, I'm Scott. I'd like to have a conversation around vetting volunteers. How can we set um, people that come to us and want to volunteer, how can we set them up to be successful? Uh, kia ora, my name's Adam Hyde, um, Shadowworth Fellow and founder of um, BookSprints um, and the Collaborative Knowledge Foundation. And I'd like to um, get a discussion about making excellent open source products. So how can we bring the user, rather than leave them on the outside, how they actually can become a core part of the community and we can reframe them as use case specialists. Hi, I'm Lisa Marie Nampi. I'm the OpenStack Ambassador for the United States, and I also run the San Francisco Bay Area OpenStack User Group, which is a very large group. I've been running that for almost four years now. I'm presenting this, um, we're proposing this with Jason. Jason, do you want to come up and introduce yourself? They'll let you back in line for whatever other thing you've got. Hi, I'm Jason Hibbets, OpenSource.com Community Manager. Oh my gosh, there's so many other communities in, in sort of the red hatty area. Um, okay, so we're, our title is Metrics That Matter and kind of dovetailing off of Matt's excellent keynote earlier today, we wanted to um, open up a discussion about what, what really matters um, and what, what you're realistically, I'm sorry, to my glasses stupidly so I can't actually read your really neat handwriting. Discussion about what metrics you measure and the value that they bring. And we really want this to be a discussion. We know a lot of you are measuring a lot of things, and so we want your opinions about things, and we think we could have a really awesome discussion, and he's really good at measuring things too, so we'll have opinions as well. Thanks. Hi, my name is Patrick. Uh, my pithy title is, Tell Me How You Agile. Um, so I might get with Janet, where she is. Um, and I just want to uh, explore the distinction between product management and project management and uh, Scrum and all the different methodologies that are out there and how we can um, settle on some and find you know, a good way to um, come up with a package or a kit of what they are. Um, again, my name is Patrick McDonald and I work at the City of Austin in the Innovation Office. Thank you, I'm Brian and I'm also with the Fedora Project like Matthew came before me. Um, similar to Sarah's topic earlier, um, my pithy title is, they did that, now what? Um, one of the challenges we're facing in the Fedora project is that the project has both online, in-person, and event-style spaces, as well as forums and all of the other components that come real-time, not real-time. How do we deal with code of conduct across all of those things in a way that makes sense, so that you don't look at things in isolated contexts? Thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Piper Wilson. I don't think anyone has anything similar to mine, so... Um, my not pithy title is how to manage a community where you are not an expert. Um, I just started with UX Mastery last week. I am a people person. I am not anything with UX at all. So. Can I still have one second? Sorry, Nithya. Uh, I just wanted to let everyone know we're, we're almost running out of board space. I think uh, in addition to the current line, you're all going to get your sessions on. We've probably got room for like two or three more. So if you've got any ideas that you want to kind of put up in the board, I'd do it now. 
because uh, we can't guarantee that everybody is going to get a session on. Okay. So I'm Nithya Ruff, and I work for Comcast Cable. And uh, one of the sessions that Daniel and I would like to talk about is the fact that inclusive communities are healthy communities. We often measure lots of things about the health of a community. What are the right measures of diversity, inclusion, that we need to include to measure the health of the community is what um, we'd like to talk about. This is awesome, so you should come to this conference. Hello again, Jason Nibbins with OpenSource.com. Uh, this is going to be a, kind of a presentation slash discussion also with Todd Lewis. Uh, the title is Hugs R Us, more about organizing world-class events with consensual hugs. Hi, I'm Debbie Sardo with the U.S. Postgres Association. Um, I'd like to talk about connecting open source communities, not just connecting advocates and developers and, and project managers within Postgres, but also how to connect across our communities. Um, I'd like to maybe see by the end of today or this weekend, well, actually today, because the proposal is tonight, uh, folks who are going to be on a panel in LA at the, o at the OS uh, convention. So I'm looking for folks, DevOps, Linux would be great. Uh, anyone who's interested, um, that's my topic. Hi, I'm Ellen Martin, and I'm a core contributor on a project called Open Data Kit that replaces paper forms with uh, phones and sort of an end-to-end -end pipeline most used in the developing world. And my session is a cry for help. It's uh, review my code. Um, I hope that maybe some of you are involved in um, incentivizing code review, ensuring quality, and um, getting the whole code review process to be fun uh, and something that contributors like doing. Um, I have nothing to really share, so <laughs> I hope others would have things that they can, uh, you know, help me learn about and that there's interest in this. Thanks. Hi, uh, Tom Lewis. Um, I'm proposing, a, this is a little different, um, work-life balance, a therapy session. Uh, maybe I'm doing it because I need a therapy session. Maybe someone can help me with therapy. Uh, honestly, it's a topic or it's an issue that I struggle with. Uh, working hard while at the same time balancing family and life. There are varying opinions, as many opinions are there are people, about what the proper balance is. But I would love to get some input on it, and I'll ask John if we can get a couch pulled in. Then it'll be really cool, so thanks. Hey, I'm Eve. I'm from the Joomla project, and we want to talk on when contributors turn sore. So, how to deal with negativity when people become trolls, aggressive, sociopaths, and all that nice things. We really have an issue with that, so if you have any ideas, join us. 